Good afternoon class. Today we're going to practice order of operations. So you may have heard this in grade school. The phrase is PEMDAS. And to remember that people often say a phrase like, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. What that stands for, the P stands for parentheses. The E stands for exponents. The M and the D are for multiplication and division. And the A and the S are for addition and subtraction. So this is the order in which we solve the in which we solve these problems. P for parentheses, E for exponents, M and D for multiplication and division, and A and S for addition and subtraction. So let's try a problem. Okay. Our initial problem looks like this, 16 plus parentheses, parentheses, 16 plus 5, close parentheses, times 5 squared, close parentheses. So again, remember our little phrase, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, the P being for parentheses. So we're going to do everything in the parentheses first. So this set of parentheses here has 16 plus 5. 16 plus 5 is 21. And then we also have an outer set of parentheses, which includes that 21 times the 5 raised to the 2 power. Now within those parentheses, we're going to do the exponent first, then the multiplication. So the exponent 5 squared is 25. So now we have 21 times 25. If you type that into your calculator, 21 times 25 is 525. Okay. So we have completed all of the operations within our parentheses. Now we can do what's left, which is the 16 plus. So 525 plus 16 gives us an answer of 541. Let's try another one. Okay, we have parentheses, parentheses, 11 minus 4 squared plus 4, close parentheses, minus 4 squared. So again, remember our phrase, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. We're going to do the parentheses first. So we have a set of parentheses here with an 11 minus 4 in it. 11 minus 4 is 7. Okay, And then that is raised to the 2 power plus 4 parentheses minus 4 squared. So again, we have another set of parentheses here that we need to take care of. Within that set of parentheses, we have two operations going on. We have the exponent attached to the 7, and we have an addition with the plus 4 here. So if you remember our phrase, exponents come before addition and subtraction. So 7 squared is 7 times 7. That is 49 plus 4 within those parentheses. 49 plus 4 is 53 minus 4 squared. So now we have successfully eliminated our parentheses. We have an exponent left here, this 2, which is attached to this 4. So we need to take care of that next. That exponents come before subtraction. So we have 53 minus 4 squared is 16. So 53 minus 16 leaves us with an answer of 37. Okay, one more example. I have 10 minus parentheses, 12 divided by 8, close parentheses, plus 7 divided by 12 plus 11. So again, we're going to do parentheses first. Inside this parentheses, we have 12 divided by 8. So 12 divided by 8 is 1 and a half. So we have 10 minus 1 and a half plus 7 divided by 12 plus 11. We have no more parentheses left. We have no exponents. Next is M and D, multiplication and division. 
We don't have any multiplication. However, we do have division here with this 7 divided by 12. So that's going to be our next step. If you type in your calculator, 7 divided by 12, you get 0.583333333333. So this part, we're going to say 0.583. So 10 minus 1.5 plus 0.583 plus 11. Now all we have left is addition and subtraction, so we're simply going to go across from left to right. 10 minus 1.5 is 8.5 plus 0.583 is 9.083 plus 11 gives us 20. 0.083. So one more time, we have PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Um, it stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction. This is really important in chemistry, so please make sure you're comfortable with these rules. Thank you so much for listening.